Hey guys. Well, I'm in the new van. And so far, I am definitely loving it. Um, the amount of extra space is excellent. And um, I am positive I made the, the right move to uh, make the change to Big Bertha. That's what I'm calling this van, Big Bertha. Because she's big. And I don't know, I've always had an affinity for alliteration, you might say. So Big Bertha is treating me well. Um, she's uh, way colder um, because you don't have, um, well, it's not fully as insulated as the other van. And because the other van was a lot less space to heat, my body heat um, isn't enough to keep this van warm. And I don't have the, like, the front wall right here fully insulated and everything so hopefully once that's insulated and everything and the roof is insulated then uh, it'll be a lot better but worst case scenario I'll have to spend some more money on um, running my propane heater more often but to me it's no problem so I'm driving them down and I'm noticing that there's a weird wobble in my driving and now I look at this tire and look at the met that's the metal parts of the tire sticking out and this is a big bulge I don't know if you can see that but that is all bulgy it's flat and then it goes up crazy eh time for a new tire this is on my uh, Ford you know how sometimes when you move and everything's a big mess well that's pretty much what happened here I got, that's almost, well not everything I own, but uh, aside for some music gear, that's pretty much all I own. Clothes, uh, sleeping bag, various kitchen stuff, and some food. That's pretty much it. Lots of work to do. Organize it all. Right now I'm just going to bungee it to the wall kind of a thing and organize it tomorrow I've been working on it the last two or three hours and I'm pooped but tomorrow I'll bungee it in place so it's not going to move around while I'm driving and as I build the van out I will uh, put stuff in its proper place so it's the next morning and uh good experience you can see all my uh, junk in here completely unorganized that's my job for today is to get this organized and I'm in the Home Depot parking lot so if need be I'm gonna buy a couple more milk crates they're ever useful here I got uh, it's my son's birthday tomorrow he's turning 11 so I bought him this uh, RC uh, remote control little truck thing and then I'm I'm a bit of a softy, so if it's someone's birthday, um, I'll buy the other sibling uh, something too. So I bought my daughter, she's four. Chase from Paw Patrol. He talks. You think? Chase is on the case. Chase is on the case. There you go. Yep. So. see what we got here just the junk um, <clears throat> so I'll talk about a bit about the uh, the bed situation I'm going to make it a bit wider um, I think on my other setup I had more space widthwise and it made a a bit more comfortable when I'm sleeping my heads up here and then my feet go across that way into the corner I think I'm going to add another four inches or so and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my summer sleeping bag I'm just going to fold it over a bunch of times and stick it in there and see how that goes. If it doesn't quite work out I'll make adjustments as required. Anywho, uh, looking pretty good. Definitely this van is way more comfortable than my other one and the biggest difference is the amount of space is unbelievably way more 
I think my other van, basically the door to the uh, cab would be where this cooler is. That's how much space I would have. From like there to there. And uh, I got a, probably an extra three feet in this thing. I don't know how much bigger this van is, but like in terms of bumper to bumper length, but it's it's definitely bigger on the inside. All right, so cleaned up my mess in here. And uh, it's far from perfect, but it's a start. So I'll just do a quick little tour of what I've got down here. It's my tools, of course. And here's all my clothes. Basically everything I own except for what I'm wearing. And uh, a lot of this is just a couple sweaters. One, two, and then that's sweaters. There's my food. As you can see, I don't keep much food in the van. It's the light that I'm currently using. Uh, this is just from the dollar store. I actually prefer my uh, Goal Zero light, but it works pretty good. It's not plugged in right now. The uh, I got a cigarette lighter thing goes on there. So I have to figure out put that all together. And over here is my kitchen stuff, bathroom stuff. And I've got sawdust on it from working in the van. I got my bowl, the one and only bowl that I have. My one spoon. I got three knives. As you know, knives gotta do different things. That one's to cut fruit and vegetables. Serrated knife is handy just to cut stuff that you need a serrated knife for. And then a nice knife to used for spreading peanut butter or jam or whatever. I got a bunch of other stuff in there, pots and pans, and moisturizer, toothpaste. And this is my garbage. I'll get rid of that soon. This is just an empty bag. Nothing in here. And my big 10 liter container of water is in my other van. I gotta go get it. So this is just, I just bought this for two bucks. Temporarily, I guess I could just get my water. This is the cooler that's going back in the old van. Currently, it has some soy milk. That's it. And that margarine's been in there for about ooh, a good month or two. I don't think I'm going to eat it. I'm going to dump it and get some new stuff. And this is my new cooler. I bought a new cooler because it's around properly here. Um, this one, as you can tell, it's like half empty all the time, or more than half empty. So, in the interest of saving space, get a smaller cooler. It's more efficient. So this is a the one piece of ice will go in there. Sixteen quart, twenty-two cans. Not that good of a cooler. In the future, I might upgrade, but for now, it seems to be fine. While I'm at it, why don't I just switch this stuff over? I don't want to get my oil floors not hasn't supposed to not touch it, any water on this floor for 22 day, 21 days, and I'm paranoid because it's hemp oil floor. So best to be careful. Get over here, you. That's gonna go in here. And then all this stuff. I kind of keep this big one. I might just keep these small ones with the uh, this big cooler and keep this big ice block thing for myself. This goes back in here. All right, guys. So the next step is now that I have this van relatively organized. It's not perfect, but it's it's definitely doable for now. Um, the next step is to sell my Ford E150 and I've decided I'm going to try to keep that as a camper van as a I'm going to try to sell it on Craigslist as a stealth camper van. Um, I'm going to have a mattress in there, uh, I'm going to have the cooler in there, um, sealed propane box, 
I'm going to leave the uh, dresser in there and uh, of course the sink will be in there and the fantastic fan has to stay in there otherwise that would make a big huge hole in the ceiling so um, yeah awesome stuff to uh, to do in that van I also have to take some stuff out like I'm taking out my propane heater my wave 3 that's coming into this van because I love that thing and I'm definitely taking my solar panel um, and it's related objects such as the charge controller and uh, fuse box that's coming out um, but other than that everything's pretty much staying and uh, got to clean it up in there get a good wash and then I got a couple things to fix like I got to fix that tire uh, the front passenger side tire and I also got a slow leak in the left driver's side tire I'm gonna fix that too and once that's done she's going up for sale um, the reason why that's gonna be a priority before doing anything else in my current van is because I'm paying a hundred bucks a month for insurance for it uh, then when I don't need it it's just uh, money out the window so get that thing fixed up and sold ASAP so yeah Anyways, guys, um, hope you're having a good night. Thanks for watching. Take care. And uh, see you in the next one.